Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the first week of May. Generally my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Virgo. First week of May, what does Virgo need to know? You may have a choice between two people. One of them, there's a lack of passion. And the other is full of it. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, hey, those words came out, right? Um, there could be a choice between two people. And um, it looks like you have to make a decision, a solid, firm decision. You really need to be objective about this situation. You know, maybe you've lost your passion for somebody. Maybe you've lost some confidence and courage and you've lost your focus. Somebody needs to regain their focus and take a stand, Virgo. Somebody needs to stand up for themselves. Work. Put effort into it. What is it that you want? Somebody needs to put in more effort, work really hard to do something. I know that you guys have been working hard. This tells me that you have been. But somebody's still lost some concentration here. They've lost their focus. You know, your intuition is, is spot on. You're seeing things absolutely clearly at this time. You are. So whatever your intuition is telling you to do the beginning of May, do it. Because there's no... Um, confusion going on up there you know you know what you got to do it may be a little scary you may have lack the confidence to follow your intuition but you know you know but the power struggles are pretty uh adamant right um there's a lot of tension regarding this decision that you need to make okay you have a lot of tension going on even though you know Okay, you sometimes even when you do know it does cause tension because you're you're trying to fight what you want to do, and that's what this is. It's like you guys are are fighting something that you don't need to fight. You may be starting to feel withdrawn and cold and detached. Because you have to make this decision. You know that you have to make a decision. You do. You could be dealing with somebody who's, who's cold and detached. However that works for you. But it's time to do the right thing. This card is about integrity. The page of pentacles is someone who does the right thing. They find their backbone to do the right thing. Even when it isn't fun. When it isn't what they want to do really. Because it's not glamorous at all. It's not. But they know it's the right thing, so they do it. They have to do it. Okay? So it's time to do the practical thing. Your intuition knows exactly what it is. You guys are thinking about leaving something. You're thinking about walking away. You've taken a lot of time to think about it, right? You have. You've overanalyzed this situation. And now it's time to make the solid, firm decision about walking away. Do you, are you going to walk away or are you going to continue to think about it forever? Wherever you're at right now, it's not happening. You're wasting your time. You're dissatisfied. It's not realistic anymore. It's, it's totally not turning out the way that you want. And it's causing you to become cold and detached. When all you really need to do is stand up for yourself, Virgo. Stand up for yourself. Trying to avoid a disaster. Feeling like if you walk away from whatever this is, it's going to lead to disaster. It's going to cause a huge upheaval. 
a disruption. And I'm really struggling with the thought of causing this uproar. And I have to tell you right now that this reading may not resonate with you. I will definitely get somebody that will comment, oh, no, no, this isn't me. Well, if it isn't you, then this reading isn't for you. Somebody lacks the confidence, the courage, the willpower to walk away from a situation that they are no longer invested in emotionally. It's causing them to become detached. They're still trying to work on it, even though they're emotionally disconnected. Their intuition is telling them to do the right thing. But they're holding back, unable to take action. There's a lack of, of direction here. There's a loss of direction. There's a lack of discipline. The inability to master your emotions and take the lead in your own life. Somebody is unable to take the lead. Right now, they're going through relationship problems. There's problems in the relationship arena. I don't know who this is for. It will not resonate with everybody. There's an unhappy relationship here. And somebody absolutely needs to find the confidence in their self-respect to progress in the direction that will make them happy, that will bring them success. But you are going to have to take the lead. You're going to have to make the decision. You're going to have to take action. If you don't have the confidence, then you better find it. You might have to make some compromises. Okay? You're probably going to have to work as a team with somebody, even if you don't want to. But right now, you're at an emotional loss. There's a lot of disappointment here. And you really need to take some action. Living in this emotional turmoil isn't doing anything for you. You're going through a very difficult time and you're having some regrets. If you would communicate and make some compromises and find your confidence and make the decision that needs to be made, you would find the victory and success that you desire. But right now, you're letting something hold you back. It's fear. Because upright, the chariot is replacing fear with faith. Faith, the chariot is reversed. Fear is holding you back. But your intuition knows what you need to do. Again, so this is this right here, this first week of May. Still lacks passion, still lacks growth. There's no fertility here. There's there's no spark. Because somebody's still unable to find their their confidence to follow their in, intuition. Holding on to something that is undesirable you need to release it this is release it stop resisting let it go let it go you're stalling but very discontent and unhappy you may be staying in a situation for financial reasons only because i don't see any love i don't see any passion i see discontentment unhappy an unhappy relationship whether this is at work or at home or whatever there's definitely with a ton of cups reversed an unhappy relationship here whether it's whoever okay and it's causing a lot of emotional turmoil i 
I just have to I just happened to see something. I'm just gonna pick these up real quick. Ten of Cups reversed with the Ace of Cups Ace of Wands reversed. These two are mirroring each other. There's a lack of passion in a relationship. Somebody is so afraid to take action, to take the lead, to follow their intuition, living with regrets, living with despair. All they need to do is communicate, make some compromises to bring victory and success back to their life. You need to fight for what you want. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to defend yourself. You need to stop stalling and you need to release. You need to let go. Unhappiness isn't getting you anywhere. This could be a third party situation. It could be. Somebody wants out. But they're so afraid of what they're going to lose. This ain't no fun. And it's time to let go of your paranoia. It's time to let go of your stress. It's time to let go of your worry. It's time to move on. It's time to close this door that you are so scared to close. It's not about the money. It's not, it's not about the money and the assets. And that's a huge karmic lesson that people need to learn. If you're choosing that over happiness, you're going to continue to suffer because that's not what how it's supposed to be. It's not. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here. Something needs to end. Somebody needs to do the right thing because karma will come around. The justice card is ruled by karma. You have a very heavy decision to make and this decision will restore the balance in your life if you do the right thing. But this card is also about integrity. It's about integrity and karma. And it's not about always doing the right thing for others. It's about doing the right thing for yourself. And if you don't do the right thing for yourself, you may not get the karma today or tomorrow. You could get it in 10 years from now when you least expect it. Something needs to end because there's no more hope. There's no more renewal here. Somebody is letting their own insecurities hold them back and they're choosing to stay in a situation for the wrong reasons. And if you can't find your strength inside, and I don't need the strength card to do the right thing, and if you're going to let money or assets hold you back, then karma will pay you a visit when the time is right. And I don't want to see any comments underneath. Well, I need, the, I need money. I had three little kids. I'm going to tell you this story. I don't care if you want to hear it. You can click off right now. A five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a six-month-old. No job, no high school diploma. And my boyfriend cheated on me, and I kicked him out. I was 23 years old. I had no money, none. There is no excuse. Fear is the problem. I made it. You're at a crossroads. Do you stay or do you go? That's the question. You have a difficult decision to make. It is time to make a decision. You may decide to suddenly go. Whatever's going on has caused a lot of restlessness and detachment. A lack of contentment. What are you going to do? 
You have to make a decision. And when you do make the right decision, you've evolved. You're not the same person. We already have determined that in past readings. You will find balance again. You will find harmony. You will go through this healing period. You will go through a renewal. But you have to be patient and it doesn't happen overnight. You are having, you are being given an opportunity to restore the balance and the harmony in your life. But you have to do the right thing. The world is right in front of you if you would take that step. You're in, somebody's in denial here. You have an opportunity to remove yourself from this difficult situation. If you would look fear right in the eyes. This could be job related. It could be relationship related. Whatever this is, somebody isn't happy. They haven't been happy. They don't want to be there. And they're too scared to do the right thing. Someone needs to follow their intuition. And trust and have faith. That they will make it. Someone needs to be assertive and they need to do the right thing for themselves. The Queen of Swords puts herself first. Put yourself first unless you want to be bitter, upset, and detached. It's time to take action. It's time to look at things from a new perspective, do things differently. Be objective and more than anything, do what's right for you. And if you don't, this is sign of Libra, Aquarius and Gemini, but I see Libra, Libra, karma, integrity. If you don't do the right thing and you're choosing to stay in a situation for the wrong reasons, and if you can't face your fears, be prepared to live with the consequences of that. My message for this week is to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Follow your intuition so that you can bring balance and harmony back to your life and start this healing process. Something needs to end. You have a new path right in front of you. There's no hope where you're at right now. There's no wish fulfillment there. What are you waiting for? Is this what you're looking for? Peace? Peace? I want peace. If you want peace, if you want peace in your mind, peace in your heart, peace in your life, you, got, you can't stay in a situation that isn't peaceful. You can't. You need to replace your fear with faith. You need to master your emotions and take the lead. You need to find your inner strength to follow your intuition. You know what this is, Virgo. And if you want this reading to change, then you're going to have to do something about it. It's been going on for how long? How? It's not about the assets. If I can take care of myself with three kids, I had nobody 
Nobody helped me. My father was thousands of miles away. My mother was crazy, literally. Nobody helped me. I had no money, no job, not even a high school diploma. I was a stay-at-home mother. Three little kids. I did it. You guys are stuck in a situation, whether it's at work or at home, that you don't want to be in. I had to face my fears. Because I know what I'm worth. Do you? Talk to you later.